Okay, so we're going to look at the formation of tissue fluids. Um, there are two types of pressure. There is hydrostatic, that drives substances out of the capillary, and oncotic, also known as osmotic, um, drives reabsorption back into the capillaries from the tissue fluid. Now, at our arterial end, Remember, arterioles connect to arteries, which connect to our aorta and our heart. Um, there's a high hydrostatic pressure than oncotic pressure, so we get a net flow out of the capillaries. At our venue end, we've got a higher oncotic pressure than hydrostatic, so we get a net flow into the capillaries. Okay, so why do things get forced out um, of at the arterial end? This is because the ventricles contract and that causes the high hydrostatic pressure. Okay, the pressure forces the plasma and other dissolved substances. out of the capillary um, and through little pores in the endothelium wall of the capillary. Um, these go into the fluid which surrounds the cells called the tissue fluid. Blood cells and platelets are too big um, as well as proteins so they will stay in the capillary. So you'll see here We've got our RBCs and we'll have some proteins here, proteins. Okay, so um, useful substances in that plasma go into the cells such as oxygen, glucose, amino acids, etc. Now, um, you will even though you get a net movement out, you still will have water going back in, a small amount of water, and that's because the proteins create a low water potential in the capillary, so you will get water moving back in by osmosis, but you will overall get more substances moving out. Um, at the venule end, um, we now have low hydrostatic pressure, and that's because all of the fluids, or most of the fluid, has been has moved out already. So there's low volume in this end of the capillary, so low pressure. Um, you've still got your low water potential inside your capillary. And since a lot of the water has moved out here, you've got a high water potential outside. So that means you get water moving in. You also have waste products from respiration and protein synthesis. So we've got high CO2, high urea, etc. So they will also diffuse back in. Really important because they're waste products, so they need to go. Um, they need to be excreted. Now, obviously your capillaries are really thin and really small, so actually um, there's gonna be excess um, fluid in the tissues because not all of it can go back into the capillary. And the excess um, will be drained away in the lymphatic system. Um, and we call the fluid here lymph, okay? So how do you write about it in the exam? So formation of tissue fluids, ventricles contract, you get a high hydrostatic pressure. Uh, we might just change that actually to higher than oncotic. Water and dissolved substances are forced out. 
Um, we now we have a still have a lower water potential in capillary because of proteins. So some water moves in by osmosis. Return to the circulatory system at the venule end. We've got a lower hydrostatic pressure. We've got a higher oncotic pressure. Um, we've got even lower water potential because of protein in the blood and all the water in the tissue fluid. So water moves in by osmosis. Some fluid will return um, by the lymph system, so the excess fluid. Okay, that is basically it. Um, there is a forms quiz for you to do to practice and a follow-up video on some exam questions.